KPM. Didik TV KPM. Ha, my birthday cake is ready. I want to share this with my neighbor and my four siblings. So half is for my neighbor and the other half is for my four siblings. Hmm, okay. Oh, wait. But how many parts do each sibling get? Hmm. Hi everyone, welcome to Tahap Dua. You're watching with me, Chris MJ, and today we are going to be learning Mathematics DLP. Now, joining us for today as our sign language interpreter is Teacher Bukhari from SK Pendidikan Ha Slango. Thank you so much for interpreting for us. And uh, last but not least, we also have our teacher for today, Mr. Ragu. Hi, Mr. Ragu. Welcome Hi, everyone. To... Hi, well... Chris. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm very good. <laughs> Welcome to today's uh, classroom uh, here at Didate TV. Thank but, you very much. Sir, as yes. usual, in a classroom, uh, there has to be classmates. Correct? Exactly. Right? exactly. There must be a student. There must be students. Yes. So besides me as a student, I also have some pupils on Google Meets. Let's say hi to them. Hi. Hi, kids. All right, there they are, All the right. four pupils that are ready for today's class. All right, so Mr. Ragu, could you do us the honors of introducing our friends on Google Meet today? Sure, I will introduce them. Okay, uh, first we have Arisha Rania Binti Arif Rozikin from SK Jalan Bahagia Temerlo Pahang. Hi, Arisha. Hi, Arisha. Okay, okay the second we have Hari Warden Anak Lelaki Hari Krishnan from SK Ibrahim Sungai Petani Kedah. Hi Hari. Hi Hari. Nice to meet you. Okay, who's next? Okay, next we have Nurul Atira binti Mazlan from SK Sultan Abdul Aziz Teluk Intan Perak. Hi Nurul. Hi Nurul. The last but not least we have John Matthew Francis from SK Bandar Tun Usenon 2 Ceras Selangor. Hi John. Hi John, all right. All so right. these are my friends and classmates for today as well as those of you at home. But before that, before we proceed with today's class, I want to ask everyone watching at home and on Google Meets, are you ready for today's class? If you're ready, give me a thumbs up. I want to see a thumbs up. Okay, all everyone right. with a thumbs up over there. All right, so Mr. Ragu, yes. what will we be learning today? Okay, uh, Chris, we're going to learn division of fraction today. And the learning skill skill for today is you can have a look at the slide okay divide fraction of two numbers involving proper fraction whole number and mixed number so this is what we're going to learn today okay and what does the birthday cake have ah, to do with today's yes, Chris, lesson you'll be having a problem to identify how many parts of the cake yeah. will each of your siblings will get exactly exactly now we're going to divide the cake now uh, Chris. all right all right. Okay, so how do we do okay, that? Okay, you have one hole. Okay. Okay, one hole is one part of the cake. And you plan to give half of it to your neighbor, am I correct? Yes, okay, half to my neighbor. Let's cut the cake into two equal parts. Okay, so I'm going to use the cake knife. All right. And half. Okay. Very good, Chris. Yeah. Okay. Okay, the half of it, you're going to give it to your neighbor okay this half is for my neighbor okay the another half you're going to share it with four of your siblings yes now can you divide it into four equal parts okay four equal it's quite parts. challenging but mm. you have to try all right all right we shall try maybe you can help me at home as well how do i divide this half into four equal parts like like this how do you okay. cut cross so, all right cross like, me they say like this so this is the yes. first half and then we're gonna cross it this way to have another slice. Excellent, over here. Chris. Is this correct, sir? Yes, excellent. You have cut it into four equal parts. 
Okay. okay, now your question is how many part each kids will get? Yes. Okay, the cake is cut into four part, but that is half of the cake. Now we are talking about one whole. A fraction means is a part of one whole. So the part that you have cut is one over eight. Because one if the whole eight. cut, whole cake, you can cut it into eight parts. So each kid will get one over eight of cake. Ah, ah okay. so okay, this is how we cut in the real situation. Yes. And now I'm going to show you in standard written method how to solve this problem. All right, sure. Okay, the question is 1 over 2 divide with 4. Okay, let's look at normal division. Okay, for example, 10 divide with 5. So how do we write it in standard written method? So the 10 will be inside and the 5 will be outside. So the same thing I'm going to apply to this fraction. So half divide with 4, the half will be inside and the 4 will be outside. Okay? All right. I'll change the marker okay. so that you can see clearly. Okay, now what am I going to do? I'm going to make this 4 into 1 because whatever number, when you divide with 1, you get the number itself. Yes. 4 divided by 1 is 4. 4. 5 divided by 1 is 5. 5. Okay, so I want to make it uh, 1. So to make it 1, I have to times this number with 1 over 4. So that I can cut it and make it 1. So whatever I do here, I must do it here. So if here I times with 1 over 4, here also I must times with 1 over 4. Okay, now I simplify. 4 divided by 4, 1. 4 divided by 4, 1. So this will become 1. So mm. the number, when you divide with 1, is this number itself. So we can change 1 over 2 divide with 4 to 1 over 2 multiply with 1 over 4. So this is how we inverse a fraction division into multiplication. So when we inverse, so 1 over 2 multiply with 4 over 1 will become 1 over 4. So usually we don't write these steps. So from this step, we will move to this step. Okay? Mm. So here, what you have to do, you can simplify. Like here, 1 and 2, 1 and 4, you cannot simplify. So whenever you simplify, up and down, you must simplify. Down and down, you cannot simplify. So when you cannot simplify, we just multiply. 1 times 1 is equivalent to 1. 2 times 4 is equivalent to 8. So the answer is 1, one over, eight. over 8. This so is this is how we do standard written method calculation. All right, so that is exactly what uh, Mr. Ragu was explaining earlier. One exactly over with eight. the cake. Yeah. Okay. So each of the siblings, each of your siblings will get one over eight. Okay, Part understood. Understood. And what about the neighbor? The neighbor so, will get half of it. And what if I have two neighbors? If you have two neighbors, you have to cut the cake into three equal parts. One whole, you have okay. to cut into three equal parts. So okay. each of the parts will become one over three. All right, so could you maybe show us a, an example of a, a standard written method for that? Okay, Ken. Yeah. If let's say you have three neighbors, okay? Yeah. So one over three, uh, you're going to divide it into... So you have one over three of it, and yeah. you're going to share the one over three into four siblings. Yep. You have cut the cake into three parts. Yeah. And one part is for your siblings, all Correct. the siblings. Okay, yeah. now I'm going to divide it with four. Okay, this four, so I'm going to inverse it, change it to multiplication. 1 over 3 times 4 is 4 over 1. When we inverse, become 1 over 4. Okay? So here you cannot simplify. 1 times 1 is 1. 4 times 3 is 12. So ah. each of the siblings will get 1, one over 12, 12. Okay. parts which, which, of which is a smaller size. Yes, exactly. Because you divide it into three parts. Okay, okay. Ah. So this is... Uh, so what? maybe could you share with us a summary of what we have just learned in okay. this segment? What sir? we have learned is... Uh, dividing a proper fraction with a whole number. So this is how you do calculation. You cannot divide with a, a fraction uh, and another fraction. So what you do, you have to convert it to multiplication and you have to inverse it. So 4 over 1 will become 1 over 4. Mm. So this is how the calculation will be. Okay. And usually, uh, these are the steps why we inverse. Okay, to explain to you. And usually we will skip this uh, this step. Yep. So from 1 over 2 divide with 4, we'll go to straightway 1 over 2 times 1 over 4. The 4 over 1, we just 
uh, inverse, inverse it to become 1 over 4. Okay, okay. Yeah. And how is our friends on Google Meets as well as watching at home doing so far? Everyone clear with uh, what Mr. Ragu just shared in this segment? If you're clear, give me a thumbs up. Okay, Great. looks like everyone is clear. But sir, before we proceed any further, how about we take a short break? Sure. Alright, for those of you watching at home, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back here for Mathematics DLP Tahun 6 only on Delete TV KPM. You're back here on Tahap Dua for Mathematics DLP Tahun 6 with me Chris, MJ as well as Mr. Ragu and today we are focusing on the topic of division of fractions. Alright Mr. Ragu, I am so excited to keep learning on this. What are we going to do next? Okay Chris, what we're going to do next is we're going to mark, uh, divide a mixed number with a whole number. Mixed number with a whole number. Okay. okay, now we're going to do in real life situation, how do we do it? Okay, we have a ribbon there, Chris. Okay. Okay, the length of the ribbon is 1, 3 over 5 meter. 1, 3 over 5 meter. Alright. So it's in meter. If I convert it to centimeter, 1 meter is 100 centimeter. Plus 3 over 5 meter is 60 centimeter. So it's equivalent to 160 centimeter. Okay. Okay, this is in the unit of centimeter. Centimeter. All okay, right. now what am I going to do? I'm going to cut the ribbon into eight equal parts. Eight equal parts. Okay, Chris, can you try, Chris? Can. All right. I'll try my best. Okay. Good. Okay. Okay, so, so this you is fold one. it into two. It's fold it two. All right. Okay, then I'm going to cut it. All right. Okay, so you got two parts. Two parts now. Yes. And I'm going to fold it again. Fold it again. Okay. And I'm going to cut it over here. Wow. Okay, I feel like I'm in okay, class. Okay, now you have so four parts. Four parts. Now we, what we need is eight parts. Okay, so I need to fold, fold it, it again. Fold it again. Yes. Okay, and... Okay. I have eight parts. Perfect. You have cut the ribbons into eight equal parts. Okay, yep. now, can you take one of the ribbons for us to measure what is the length of each part? Okay, so right. the, the from 160 centimeters, yes. we have divided it to eight parts. Eight parts. And okay, okay. I'll take uh, I think we can paste it here. Sure. So the easy for the kids at home also can have a look. Okay. All right. So this is the length of the ribbon. All right. Okay, now you can take the ruler. Oh, ruler. Okay, okay. the ruler is in centimeter. Then later we will convert it back to meter because our question is in meter. Okay. All right. So we cannot measure without a ruler. Is exactly. That correct? Okay. So you need a measurement. All oh, right. <laughs> okay, I'll help you, Chris. Yep. Okay. Okay. So what is the length of the ribbon? Uh, sir, uh, from what I can see here, you it can is start from zero. Zero. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10, 20 centimeters, sir. Very good. So, the length of each ribbon is 20 centimeters. But I want the answer in meter. Ooh. So, how do we convert this 20 centimeter into meter? We divide with 100. Why 100? Why, sir? Because 1 meter is 100 centimeter. Oh. So, I divide 20 with 100. I cut the zero, I cut the zero, then I simplify. Divide with 2, I get 1. Divide with 2, I get 5. So the answer is, when you divide it into 8 part, you will get 1 over 5 meter. This is the length of each ribbon. Okay. So this is the standard return method. Okay, understood okay? sir. This is how we write the standard return method. Now I'm going to show you how to do the calculation of standard return method. Okay. This is how you write in standard return method. Now is the way, the calculation. Okay. okay. All right. 1, 3 over 5 meter divide with 8. So divide with 8 is equivalent to 8 over 1. 
So now what am I going to do? I'm going to convert this mixed number into improper fraction. Okay, so how I convert it? 1, the whole number 1, you times with 5, this number 5, and you plus with 3. Over, here if over 5, here also will be over 5. Then you divide, you have to change it to multiplication, you inverse. So 8 over 1 will become? 1 over 8. Very good. 1 over 8. So 1 times 5 is 5 plus 3 is 8. So 8 over 5 times 1 over 8. Okay, here I can do simplify. Mm. 8 and 8. Divide with 8, I get 1. Divide with 8, I get 1. So the answer is 1 over 5 meter. Ah, so, so this, this is, is how you do standard written method for this question. Okay, so pupils are expected to write in this uh, method? Yeah, standard so? written method okay. So for their maths. Okay, so this is how we do in real life situation. I've shown you with the ribbon. And now it's the standard written method. How do we solve this question? Okay, understood, okay. sir. Okay, kids so, at home, mm. how do you find? Okay, you can follow? Let's check them, Chris, whether they can follow or not. We test them with practice. So before that, I have a question. Yes. Why did we divide the 8 with a 1? Okay, 8 over 1. 8 is a whole number. Yes. So 8 is divided with 1 is 8 itself. The number ah. itself. Whatever you divide with 1 is the number itself. But okay. usually we won't write 8 over 1. 8 over 1, we write it as 8. eight. 9 okay. over 1, we write it as 9. Means 9, mm. it share in 1. Okay. So you will get the whole part. I see. I have one watermelon. Yeah. I share it with me. Mm. So I will get the one whole. Okay. So if, if for example, yeah. if you wanted to divide the ribbon to nine parts, yes. then we'll, would we have written nine over one? Would that be correct? Uh, yes, exactly. Okay. If you divide with nine parts, you have to write it with nine over one. Okay. Correct. Understood. So this is how we convert a whole number into a fraction. Okay. All right. Got it. So, are the pupils ready to be tested? Kids, are you ready at home? If you're ready, show me your light end. Okay, okay, they are ready. Okay, now let's go for the... The questions, sir. Questions, yeah. So, for those of you watching at home, you can prepare a piece of paper, your stationery, your pencil, and let's follow uh, Mr. Ragu along for this exercise, okay? Because math is all about practice, am I right, yes, sir? Yes, exactly. Practice okay. makes perfect. All right. Okay, this is practice one. Okay, kids, can you see the questions? Okay. Alright, can you try? Okay, kids at home, you also can try all these questions and we're going to discuss the answer in a short while. Okay, so could you uh, read out the questions for us? Okay, sure. The first question is 1 over 5 divide with 5. The second question is 2 over 3 divide with 6. And the third question is 6, 1 over 6 divide with 3. And the fourth question is 3, 1 over 4, divide with 4. So mm. we have two questions, proper fraction, divide with the whole number. And we have another two questions, mixed number, divide with the whole number. So we have learned this both skill just now. Yes. So let's try how the kids going to perform. Okay. And Chris, yes. if let's say they answer correctly, we're going to reward them. Oh, Is it what's okay? The, what's the reward, sir? We're going to give them star. We have reward chart there. Mm, All right. Okay. Chris, please help me to give star for them. Okay. If they're correct. If they're correct. Okay. Okay. Sure. <laughs> All right. So are we ready for our uh, Kids, if you're ready, please show me your like hand. Okay. Mm. Okay. John is ready. How about Ari the others? Ari is ready. Arisha and Nurul. Okay, everybody is ready? Okay, good. Okay, the first question, who going to help me? First question. Okay, John. Can you explain to me, John, how do you get the answer and your answer? So, the question is, 1 over 5 divided 5. 5 is a whole number. Right. 5, you need to... Uh, 5 will become 5 over 1 to... To multiply those two numbers, you need to invest 5 over 1 to 1 over 5. And one, uh, and now you need to do the calculation which is 1 over 5 times 1 over 5 and you'll get the answer 1 over 25. Is it the simplest form, John? 1 over 25? Yes. Very good, John. Thank you for the correct answer. We good will job. reward you with one star. Congrats, John. Alright. Okay, one star for John. Okay. Thank you, Chris. Alright. 
Okay, how about the second question? Who can help me on second question? So two over three yes, divided hurry. by six. Okay. So the second question is two over three divided by six. Six is a whole number, so we have to inverse it to multiply it. Okay. So it will become one over six. So we'll get two over three times one over six. We can simplify two and six to become one and three. So it will become one times one over three times one over three. So the answer will be one over nine. Very good, Hari. Thank you for the correct answer. Shall we reward him? Yes, we shall. So All right. Hari, Hari gets a star. Your star is on the way, Hari. Okay. Okay. All right. Now let's go for the third question. Who can help me on the third question? Yes, Nurul. Thank you, Nurul. The question is one over six. So first, we need to change the mixed number to improper fraction. So six times six plus one equal to thirty-seven over six. Then we change division to multiplication. After that, just multiply it up and up, down and down. You will get the answers thirty-seven over eighteen. You need to change it to mixed numbers. Thirty-seven divided by eighteen, and the final one over eighteen. So what is the answer? Two one over eighteen. Very good. So when you get the answer in improper fraction, you have to change it to mixed number. Ah. That's what Nurul do. Thank you, Nurul, for the correct answer. Good And job, Nurul. And you will get one star, Nurul. Thanks. Okay. Okay. The last but not least, question number four. Who can help me on question number four? Yes, Arisha. All right. You can. Oh, Arisha, I think you haven't unmuted your mic. Okay. All right. So the question three one over four divided by four. First, we need to change mixed proper fraction. Um, and eight. Um. You change the mixed number into improper fraction. Okay. Um, and then flip the um whole number four into one over four. Okay. So it is thirteen over by uh, one over four. Thirteen over four so multiplied with one over four. Very good. So we can multiply thirteen with one thirteen and four with four equal to sixteen. So the answer is thirteen over sixteen. Okay, Arisha, thirteen over sixteen. Can we simplify the fraction? No. Is it a proper fraction or improper fraction? Proper fraction. Very good. It's a proper fraction. What is an improper fraction? Improper fraction is the number. Um, the up number is bigger than down number. Very good, Arisha. Very good. You are well prepared. Okay, good, 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 good. You have learned all this before, ah, huh? in the previous skill. Very good. Improper fraction means the number on top is bigger than the number below. Very mm. good. Shall we give a star? Oh, I already gave given. her a star because so she, was, she was very good. All the kids got one star for the first round. Yeah. And let's challenge them with more rounds. Yes, we're going to challenge them with more rounds. And see who is the winner for today. Yeah, sir. But I have a question for you, sir. Yes, Chris. Um, what happens if the answer is in an improper fraction? What if the student gives the answer in an improper fraction and not a mixed number? Okay. What usually in fraction, what we have to do is we have to simplify it into the simplest form. Okay. Or if it's In improper fraction, you have to convert it to a mixed number. Okay. Okay. Sometimes it's acceptable, but yeah. uh, in the proper way, you have to convert it to a mixed number. That's the proper way. Okay. And what yeah. what what if I accidentally forgot to answer okay. in the most simple simplest form? Okay. If let's say like it's a paper two question. Okay. So if a paper two question, you won't get the full marks. Ah. Ah. Uh, you will get the marks until if let's say three uh, three marks question, you maybe get two marks. 
Uh, One see. marks will be taken because of the answer. You never simplify the answer. Understand? So it's always so this better. is what will happen. So this, oh, it's always better to answer in the most yes, simplest exactly. form. Is that correct? But like paper one, uh, paper two, yes. Paper one is objective. Hmm. You won't find the answer there. Okay. Uh, so you have to convert it to a mixed number. Then only you can circle the correct answer. All right. So yes. sir, could you share with us a summary on what we have just learned in this segment? Okay. We have learned two skills so far, which is proper fraction divide with the whole number and a mixed number divide with a whole number so this is how you do uh, conversion and the most important things is when you divide with a fraction you have to change it to multiplication and you have to inverse the number okay right. there you have it and how did all our friends on google meets do for this segment sir uh, they, they have done very good job okay even though i asked them yeah. something beyond the syllabus also they managed to answer actually so everyone gets everyone one, star. one star congratulations to all the kids congratulations all right. but, good. That, but that's not all so we have more questions exactly but, we have more practice coming on but first we're going to take a short break now right. for those of you friends watching at home don't go anywhere we'll be right back here on tahap dua for mathematics town enam dlp Welcome back to Tahap 2 for Mathematics Tahun 6 DLP and you're watching with me Chris MJ as well as Mr. Ragu and my friends on Google Meets. Let's give us a wave. Hi everyone and those of you watching at home as well. Alright and in this segment we are focusing on the topic of division of fraction. So Mr. Ragu, what yes. will we be learning in this segment? Okay, the next skill that we're going to learn is divide proper fraction with another proper fraction. Okay, let's go for a real life situation problem. Okay. Okay, Chris, let's say you have half kilogram of flour on the table. Okay. Okay, you have half kilogram of flour. Yes. Okay, to make donuts, each donut need one over eight kilogram of flour. Okay. All right. So just guess how many donuts can I get with half kilogram of flour? I guess only, yes, sir. Okay. Okay, my guess is. Hmm, 50 donuts. 50 donuts. Oh my god. Okay, let's see. Let's see with the graphic. I'm going to explain okay. you this time with the graphic. Sure. So how do I convert half kilogram into one over eight part? All okay, right. let's look at this graphic. Okay, this is one whole, which is one kilogram. So now you have half kilogram. Yes. So half kilogram means we just take this half. So one whole, if you break into two, you get half and half. Mm. So you got two half in one whole. Yes. All right. So each donut need one over eight kilogram. Okay. Okay. So now I break this one half into one over eight. So if the whole thing, I break into one over uh, one over eight part. So I will get eight over eight because eight over eight is equivalent to one. one. So when I break into eight part, so half of it you will get one donut, two donuts. Three donuts, donuts and four donuts, not 50, Chris. Oh, that was Only a very bad guess. four donuts. Four donuts. It's a good try. Okay. It's a good try. All right. Okay, Chris, this is, uh, I show you with, with graphic. Yeah. Now, I'm going to show you the standard return method. How do we calculate? Okay. Okay. So, one over two divide with one over eight. Okay, you have two proper fractions here. So, one over two because... Because of half kilo. Half kilo. Half okay. kilo. And each donut is one, one over eight way. kilogram. Okay. So how many donuts do I get? Understood. All right. So now the same thing. What I taught you before, we're going to convert it to multiplication and we're going to inverse the fraction. So one over two, change it to multiplication. One over eight will become? Eight over one. Exactly. Eight over one. Now what we have to do, the next step, Chris, can you still remember? Yes, just multiply the, the two fractions. Uh -huh. Before that, uh -huh. we have to simplify the fraction. Yes. If yes. we can simplify the fraction, we simplify the fraction. Okay. Okay, if you look at here, 8 and 2, you can simplify. Yes. In table 2, we have 2, and in table 2 also, we have 8. Correct. All right. 2 divided with 2, you get 1. 
8 divided by 2, you get 4. So others you cannot simplify. 1 times 4 is 4 over 1 times 1 is 1. Is it 4 over 1? Um, it can be simplified, am I correct? Uh, how you simplify? Mm, 4 divided by 1. I think I told one. you before, whatever over 1 is the number itself. Yes. So 4 over 1, we can write it as? 4. Very good, Chris. So the answer is 4. Perfect. Okay. So here you see, we get 4 donuts here. And this is how you do it in standard written method. Okay. Alright, kids at home, can you follow this? Yep. If, okay, here. show me your light hand. Yeah. Chris, can we challenge them? Yes, I think we should. Okay, kids, get ready for second practice. Okay, kids at home, I'm going to show you the second task for today. Okay. Okay. So what are the questions? Alright, can you see the questions? Uh, proper fraction divide with proper fraction. I will read the question and kids at home, you can try do it now. And okay. the Google Meet kids and also kids at home, you can try. Uh, with all, right. all these four questions and we're going to discuss the answer in a short while. Alright, sir, could you help read the question? Sure. Thank you. The first question is 5 over 6 divide with 1 over 6. The second question is 14 over 21 divide with 7 over 9. The third question is 3 over 4 divide with 1 over 8. And the last but not least, the fourth question is 3 over 8 divide with 1 over 4. Mm. Okay, kids, you can start it now. Yep. If you have completed, just show me your like end. Alright, and for those watching at home, like what Mr. Ragu has said earlier as well, practice makes, makes perfect. perfect. Exactly. So you can follow you need practice. Sometimes when we learn, when people taught you, you understand. But when you start doing, ha -ha, ah, okay. the mistakes will come there. So we have to do. Exactly. Okay, for those of you watching at home, you can do along together with our pupils on Google yes. Meet as well. Alright, so everyone done? Kids, if you're if done, you're ready, you can... Just show me your like end. Yeah. So oh, they're still doing. We give them some time. Okay, John right, is the John first. John has completed. No role have completed. Arisha has completed. And Hari also have completed. Okay, okay, kids. Question number one. Who can help me? Question number one. Ah, I think Nurul. Did Nurul raise a hand? Okay, Nurul. Yeah, Nurul. Okay. Unmute Maybe. your mic. Okay. The question is 5 over 6. Divide 1 over 6. First, change the division to multiplication. And then, we inverse the 1 over 6 to 6 over 1 and 6. Uh, Nuru, can you bring it a little bit higher? I can't see the whole thing, the paper. Ah, okay, okay, good, Nuru, clear. Okay. After that, just multiply it. And I got the answer, 5 over 1 equal to 5. Very good, Nuru. Thank you for the correct answer. Good job. So what shall we do, Chris? We shall give them a give her a reward. Yes, okay. one star for Nuru. All right. Okay, let's see the second question. Who can help me on the second question? Yes, John. So the question is fourteen over twenty-one, but seven over nine. First, we need to take seven over nine and invest it to nine over seven. And now it becomes 14 over 21 times 9 over 7. Uh, John, can you hear me, John? Okay, looks like John is facing a, a bit of technical difficulties. Yes. Uh, I th yep. Shall I, I think he get the correct answer. Yep. Shall I explain it? Go ahead, sir. Go All ahead. right. Okay, the, the question is uh, 14 over 21 divided with 7 over 9. Okay. So, John have inverse the fraction. Okay, and then he have multiply and he get the answer 6. 6 over 7. 6 over 7 is the perfect answer for this question. All right. Oh, John is back. John is back. John, just a quick John, update. what is your answer, John? Uh, John, what's your answer, John? Your answer? Sorry, my answer is 6 over 7. Very good, John. Thank you for the correct answer. I've explained for you, John, just now. And we, sh we should give John one. Uh, yes, we should. John one star. Okay. Thank you. Okay, good job, John. Okay, let's go for the third question. Who can help me on the third question? Yes, Arisha. Arisha. 
So the question is 3 over 4 divided by 1 over 8. First, we need to flip the, the number of 1 over 8 into 1. So it will be 3 over 4 um, multiplied by 8 over 1. We can simplify the number 4 with, with 4 equal to 1 and 8 with 4 equal to 2. So multiply with and 2 equal to 6 and I multiply 1. Multi 1 is 1. So the answer is 6. Okay, and very one. good. 6 over 1, we also write it as 6. Thank you for the correct answer, Arisha. Good one job. 1 star for Arisha. Arisha. Okay. Alright, now let's go for question number 4. The last but not least, who's going to help me for question number 4? Yes, Hari. The question is 3 over 8 divided by 1 over 4. To multiply it, we have to inverse the number to become 4 over 1. So we can simplify 8 and 4 to become 2 and 1. So we will get 3 over 2 times 1 over 1. So we will also get 3 over 2. 3 over 2 is an improper fraction. Hmm. So we have to convert it to a mixed number. Uh, can you bring it a little bit? I, okay, good. Alright. So the answer will be 1, 1 over 2. 1, 1 over 2. 1, 1 over 2 is what number, Ari? A mixed number. Very good, Ari. Thank you for the correct answer. Yes, let's give let's all give the people... Let's give one star a, for Hari. One star and a round of applause. Oh, they are doing very good they, job. They are doing very well. Yeah, so, yeah, we have more yeah. questions after this, right, sir? Yes, we have more questions okay, coming. Okay, so don't and go... And we have another one more... Two, one more skills to learn. One more skills to yeah, learn. Yeah, one more all skill right. to learn So, today. But first, sir, we're going to take a short break. Is that okay, all right? Okay, sure. Okay, for those of you watching at home, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back here for Tahap 2 Mathematics Tahun 6 DLP. Welcome back to Tahap 2 Mathematics Tahun 6 DLP And you're watching with me Chris, MJ as well as Mr. Ragu And my friends on Google Meets And today we are focusing on the topic of division of fractions But Mr. Ragu, yes. in this segment I, I, I see some beakers on the table yes. are, are we doing some experiment? Exactly, we're okay. going to learn division today Which is mixed number with a proper number Alright Okay, a proper fraction Alright Okay, let's say we start with a problem. We okay. always start with a problem. A real life today. situation. Yes, in real life okay. situation. Okay, we have one big jar of syrup there. Yes. Okay, the content of the syrup is two and a half liter to one over two liter. Okay, and I'm I want you to fill up the syrup into the small beaker. Each beaker is. 1 over 4 liter. So I'm going to I'm going to test on you how you're going to divide this into 1 over 4 okay. liter. So as we know, 1 over 4 liter is equivalent to 250 milliliter. Mm, yes. Can you do it? Yeah. Can. Okay, let's Chris do it. Okay. So you're going to put 250 milliliter of syrup in each beaker. Alright. And we're going to find out. How many beaker Chris managed to fill All with right. two one over two liter of uh, okay. syrup? Okay, kids at home and everyone, as we know, the concept of division is very important. The concept of division is sharing equally or grouping. Okay, what is sharing equally means? Let's say I have ten candies. I'm going to share it with two of my siblings. So one for you one for you another 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 one for you and another one for you that is sharing equally 
Okay, you must share equally. One for you and one for you. One for you and one for you. Mm. That is the concept of uh, division. And we have another one more concept of division, which is Chris is doing now is grouping. So you have to group. Okay, let's say I have uh, 20 marbles. Okay, I have 20 marbles. Each box, I'm going to fill with five marbles. So what I do, I count five marbles and put on box one. I count another five marbles and I put it in box two. I count another five marbles and I put it in box three. That is grouping. So division, we have two concepts, which is one is sharing equally and another one is grouping. So what is Chris doing now is grouping, grouping the syrup into 250 milliliter each. Sir, have you completed? Yes. Yes. Okay, let's count. How okay. many groups? So, um, let me put this uh, uh, that Chris okay. get today. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, ten. groups. Okay. Ten beakers. Ten beakers, yes. Okay, this is how you divide in real life situation. You divide two and a half liter of uh, syrup into one over four liter each beakers. So now, I'm going to show you the standard return method. All right. Okay, so when you divide with a mixed number, you have to change the mixed number into a improper fraction. So two times two is four, plus one is five. So five over two, divide, you have to inverse it to multiplication, and one over four will become? Four over one. Very good. Four over one. one. Okay, now what you have to do the next step? Simplify. So what number we can simplify here, Chris? Uh, the two and four, teacher. Perfect, two and four. You divide with two, you get one. Divide with two, you get two. Is there any other numbers we can simplify? Mm, no. No, very good. So we just multiply. Five times two is 10. One times one is one. So 10 over one, we can write it as? 10. Do you get 10 beakers just now? Yes, teacher. Ah, this is how we do the standard written method for this question. Okay, understood, understood. Yeah, kids at home, can you follow this? Good. If you can follow, show me your like hand. Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> Let's test them. Okay. Okay, get ready for the next practice, kids at home. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right, we have practice three now. Okay, we have four questions here, kids at home. And Google Meets Kit, you can try all these questions. I will read the question as usual. So the first question is 3, 2 over 3, divide with 1 over 3. The second question is 4, 3 over 5, divide with 3 over 10. The third question is 6, 5 over 8, divide with 1 over 8. And the last but not least, the fourth question is 5, 7 over 15, divide with 1 over 5. Okay, kids at home, you can try all these four questions. So I have a question. Yes, Like Chris. if the question earlier that you gave, uh, we were talking about liters. Yes. And what if we answer but we don't put the unit, sir? Like what would happen? Okay, uh, now we have to find out how many beakers do we get. Okay. So it's 10 beakers, actually. Ah, okay. Uh, so we can write the unit. Yep. If we never write the unit also, but it's the proper way is we write the unit. We okay. get 10 cup of waters. All so right. if it's a problem solving question, now I have converted it to a, a mathematical sentence. Right. Uh, so this is how you do in mathematical sentence. Okay. In real life problem, if you have problem, you have to answer according to the question need. If they ask you how many liter, you have to answer it in liter. Mm. If you use, if you convert the measurement into Milliliter, milliliter, but later you have to convert back to liter because they give you the question in liter. I see. Uh, you must be very careful in this. Be very careful, friends. Yes. All right. So, can we ask if everyone is ready with your answers for the four questions? Okay, I see some hands for those if of you, you watching. If you are ready, at home. just show me your like hand. Yeah. Okay. Oh, they are very fast. Very Ooh, fast. Okay. Everyone Amazing. is complete. Okay. The first question. Who can help me now for the first question? Yes, Arisha. So this question is 3, 2 over 3 divided by 1 over 3. First, we need to change mix number to improper fraction. Um, then we need 
to flip the number 1 over 3 into 3 over 1. Um, we can simplify 3 over 3 um, with 3 equal to 1, 3 with 3 equal to 1. Um, so the answer is 11 over 1 equal to 11. Very good, Arisha. Thank you for the correct answer. So what reward does Arisha get, sir? One star for her. One star. Usually, Chris, kids yeah. can do and get the correct answer, but very difficult for them to explain. But they managed to explain. Yeah, these are great students. Yeah, okay. How about the second question? Who can help me on the second question? Okay, second question. Okay, Nurul. Yes, Nurul. Ten is... 4, 3 over 5, divide by 3 over 10. We need to change mixed number to improper fraction, so it becomes 20 over 5. After that, division to multiplication and inverse the 3 over 10 to 10 over 3. Here we can simplify it, divide by 5 equal to 1, and 10 divided by 5 is 2. Multiply up and up, down and down. So we get 46 over 3. We need to change it to improper fraction. No, that is an improper fraction. We, you need to change to mixed number. We need to change it to mixed number. Very good. And the okay. answer is 15 1 over 3. Very good, Nuru. Thank you for the correct answer. Good job. And one star for Nuru. Okay. Okay, so next. next question, question number three. Who's going to help me with question number three? Yes, Hari. Hari. Thank you, Hari. The question is 6, 5 over 8 divided by 1 over 8. So, we have to, so we have to convert 6, 5 over 8 into improper fractions since it is a mixed number. So we'll get 53 over 8 divided by 1 over 8. Now we have to inverse 1 over 8 to become 8 over 8. So it will be 53 over 8 times 8 over 1. We can simplify both of the 8 ones. So we will get 53 over 1 times 1 over 1. And we will get 53 over 1. 53 over 1 is equal to 3. 53. 53. Very good. Thank you for the correct answer, Hari. Okay. okay, the last but not least, question number four. Who can help me with question number four? Yes, John. Okay, this, okay John. Yes. Five, seven, five, seven, divide one over five. Five is a mixed number and you need to change it into a improper will become 82 over 15 and 1 over 5 invest it to 5 over 1 and now you'll get 82 over 5 times 5 over 1 but then we can simplify 5 and 15 and 5 divide 5 is divide 15 is 3 and now you'll get 3 times 1 over 1 and after times you, you will get 82 over 3 but 82 over is an improper fraction. We need to change it into a mix to become 27. 27 1 over 27 1 over 3. How do you change the improper fraction to a mixed number, John? What operation do you use? Change the improper fraction to a mixed number by dividing. Very it. good. Thank you for the correct answer, John. We shall give one star for John. Okay, one star. All right. So, Mr. Ragu, I'd like to ask you, how did all my friends on Google Meets and those watching at home do today for this topic, division of fractions? They did perfect job. All the best to all the kids. Congratulations. Good job, everyone. And everybody perfect. managed to get three stars. Three stars. That's the maximum star for each of you. Great Congratulations job, to all the kids at home. Congrats. And also, Mr. Rago, for those of you watch, for those pupils watching at home who would like to get extra materials on today's yes, topic, where they can, can they find get it? it at sumberku.com. 
Mr.Ragor.com from MOE Portal. Sumber ku. Cool. And remember, Mr. Ragor always says, practice makes perfect. And with that, I just want to wish a big thank you to Mr. Ragu for today's uh, lesson on Mathematics Town 6. And thank you so much for watching as well as my friends on Google Meets. And we will see you next time only on DDAT TV KPM. Ah, Chris. Yeah. This month is your birthday. Am I correct? How you know, sir? Yeah, I knew it. Oh my goodness. Okay, I have bought a cake for you for your birthday. Really? Yeah. Where? Where? Excuse me, can you please bring Chris cake? <laughs> that, that, ah. ah! Oh my goodness, what a surprise. Okay. Ah. Chris, since yeah. we have eight of us here and yeah. you have learned division today. Okay. Now, you're going to cut the cake into eight equal parts and share it with all of us here. Okay. All right. But first, before I cut the cake, we have to sing the song. Exactly. Can oh. I have a birthday song, please? All right. Oh, I didn't know you. how you know it's my ah. birthday. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, eight, 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 eight. parts. Okay, yes. so this is half. Can you all see? Okay. Uh. Half. Okay. 